there it is. The Cabela's Carnivore Commercial Grade three quarter horsepower number 12 grinder with Cooltech gel ice pack technology, which is very, very um, important because biggest problem with uh, meat grinders, as you probably know, is the blades and head heat up and it turns the meat that you're grinding into like a pasty soupy material which really cuts back on your yield and uh, with this here you put the head and the gel back in the freezer overnight and um, or actually minimum of four hours or overnight and then when you're grinding the uh, meat it stays cool up to about 45 minutes and then you can um, it actually helps you yield in the end so we're looking, uh, I'm looking pretty forward to trying it out, but we've wanted one of these for a while, and the other one finally just crapped out, and they gave me an excuse to buy a new one. So I'm going to see if I can give you a little better, uh, so you can read the description on it. This is the entry level of the commercial grade uh, meat grinders. It's got a price tag of about 350 bucks at Cabela's, which you know isn't cheap. But take it from me, don't buy a don't buy a hundred dollar meat grinder because you'll be buying one a year. You know, it's like those vacuum sealers um, by the commercial grade because the other ones last about a year, two years, depending on how much you use it, and they just crap out. So get yourself a, a commercial grade meat grinder, commercial grade vacuum sealer, and you'll be a lot better off in the end. Alrighty, get the show on the road. Go to, uh, first of all, when you're making a uh, grinding meat or whatever, you have to take the meat off the bone. So we're going to debone. This is the leg of the bear. And uh, I'm going to grind it all up into hamburger and make some stew beef. But basically, you just start out and deboning and get the meat off the bone. It's all going to be hamburg, so you don't have to be too fussy. Um, you can go back and trim off the this stuff afterward. But it's a good idea if you can to um, pull out all the uh, uh, sinew and all that stuff there. You don't have to put that in with your hamburg. Um, there are some actually. There are some good cuts off this if you wanted to do a roast or something but depends on what you taste the palate is most people don't even eat bear never mind you know make make roast out of them but you can do that but all this stuff here it'll make really good really good burger um, as you can see there's some pretty big cuts of meat here that you need to uh, address now this isn't a how-to butcher video, it's just basically um, just a video. Now essentially you uh, end up with your bone, which you can uh, get a lot of hamburg meat and stew beef off that. And then you get your three big cuts. Uh, you could make steaks out of that if you wanted, or a roast, or stew beef. Like I said, I'm just going to grind it up into... Uh, Hamburg, so um, give this stuff a final wash first, get all the hair off it. Then we'll throw it in the pan, put it in the fridge, keep it cool while I'm doing the rest of it, and then we'll go in and grind it. Head and gel tech pack out of the fridge, freezer rather, and it's uh, it's cold like it's supposed to be. We're gonna put that in, tighten it up, and we put on our put the gear in it, put the blade and everything all ready to go. I'm not supposed to put this in the freezer. Oh, I don't know what would hurt if you did. This bad boy snuggles 
So, plunger. I think we're ready to make some hamburger. Or a beer burger, as we call it. It's the old days, aren't we? I had I didn't have the uh, headset in correctly. sausage or anything else, I, I, I grind just the wild game. That way when you want to prepare it, you mix it then. You thaw it out and mix it with whatever you want to mix it with. Like you might want to try sausage, you might want to try lamb. You can mix it with anything, but if you freeze it by itself, then you can add even just the, just the beer meat for like a frittata or something. Short work of uh, of that of that uh, bear. Um, this is the hamburger we ground up, and I mentioned before this uh, 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 Cool Tech ice pack that you put on. You actually put the whole head in the freezer, like I showed you, and it keeps the head from overheating, and it's still ice cold, which is the biggest problem with the meat grinder. It overheats, and then the meat turns to paste, and then it's it really turns into a mess, and it cuts down on your yield, and, and so on and so forth. But we ground this in, I don't know, what was it, a minute and a half? This thing just cranked. It'll do like seven pounds in a minute. So we're very happy with it. Very highly recommend this product. And you know that I don't try to sell you stuff because this is from Cabela's and I'm not making a dime on it. But it's a really good, really good tool. And it weighs 50 pounds. Non-slip feet. Just amazing. Really happy with it. So now we got to get our Cabela's vacuum sealer and start putting this stuff in the freezer. said so if you get a vacuum sealer uh, get the commercial grade it's a little more money but well it's a lot more money but uh, it's the only way to go those little hundred dollar specials just don't last end up with it. all kinds of beer meat got a long way to go anyway as it gets. Never had them. You gotta try it. I found that um, 
some people butterfly back straps. I like to cut them at a 45, and then um, it just, I think it makes them they're tender enough as it is, but I think the 45 degree angle makes them even that much more tender. says, spirit of the wild, you can find it in backstraps. That's what we were out there hunting for. You want Kobe? I bet Kobe would like some of these. 